Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Eat Your Eat My Pasta. <laughs> How you doing out there? Welcome back and uh, we're so privileged and grateful that you guys tune in and watch us. With what are we doing our... today, Dom? It looks doing... like salads. Yeah, we're doing some, decided to, we decided to do some pasta salads with all our products. Some, so we've got some bow ties, we have some cheese raviolette, then we have some uh, tricolor tortellini and then... Uh, we're gonna make some uh, a salad, warm salad with uh, sausage and broccoli up uh, raviolis. A it little on the like spicy side, but it's uh, they're not hard to make. It. They're easy and it gives you a different idea with whether it's winter, fall, any season. You can make these salads to satisfy your family. So, and well, then, let's get cooking. Well, I just cooked. This is a found a bow tie. I cooked it uh, al dente because you don't want to overcook it. A beautiful, nice bow tie. I'm just going to season just a little bit. And that's your fresh pasta? Yes. This, uh -huh. Now we put some little bit of olive oil just so that the salt doesn't stick and what have you. This is a, if you want to make pasta, we have the recipe. This is a, the pasta that we make here. Sometimes it's a lot of work to make pasta unless you buy a lot of basil. But it's some, it's easy to, yeah, you make, a good to pasta make a here. great yeah. pasta because we make it, we buy a lot of you know, basil, we make a one shot, it's a lot of work. But one thing about pasta, you could use it, reuse it, you could freeze it and keep it in the refrigerator over and over again, it doesn't change it. That's the beauty of pasta, you could use it for chicken, salad, you could use it for warm. And you want to make a great chicken palm, you could put it on top of the chicken with the marinara and the mozzarella, it gives it a different taste. So, I have, I have about two cups over there. I'm just going to put as much as we need. And um, one so you thing I want to kind of coat it. Yes, and then at the end we put more. Now you could put anything you want in this salad. We chose some nice grilled chicken. If you don't want to put chicken, you could put veggies. You could put whatever you want. So, but I like the the texture, the the chicken. This is one of my favorite, my family favorite. So, I'm giving you, like I said before, some. Uh, ideas and we run with it but the chicken with the pasta the grilled chicken it just gives it a nice really nice flavor so it so far it looks pretty easy you got what three well, ingredients so far it's <laughs> really easy and you could put as much chicken you want or for as much as you later then it gives some color i got some cherry tomatoes we just cut them in half it just it gives it a nice unique flavor, and especially it gives it, with the pesto. Right, it brings yeah. out the colors. So, yeah. right. and you know what? Don't be afraid to, to try new things and to put whatever you like, or, or think, oh, it's not going to go good. And it'll just try it out; it'll come out good. So, it's you could put. I open the refrigerator, whatever it's in there, I make <laughs> it all up, and it comes out good. So you'll do the same <laughs> thing. You don't waste anything. And at the end, you say, wow. So this is a good vehicle for leftovers. Oh, it's awesome. If you got like a chicken or something, you put the chicken breast in there, you don't know what to do with it. And, or anything. You want all the, you got some veggies that on their way out, you just want to cook them up, you just blanch them, ah. and put them in there. So I like to put some, um, I love olives. I'm just going to put a few olives in there. It just gives it a distinguished taste. These are calamata pitted. They're delicious. Oh, I love the, they the, are the, delicious. the olives. So, but if you don't, like I said, you put whatever you like, but I just... They have is, such a flavor to them that it, it, it picks up the flavor of the pesto and everything else to that's, the olives. That's yeah. correct. So, I like olives and we're going to eat it, so I'll we'll put olives. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. The other thing, I like to put some chili and chini. I cut them in quarters. I don't want too big, so I just 
but it gives it a, the contrast with the red and the white. And with the pesto and the mozzarella, it just... Yeah, they're it's a natural It's a beautiful combination. Right it's a good time for your mouth. Oh my gosh, I just... <laughs> and I like to put a lot of pesto in it, so if you got to make it, just... Make an extra pass. If you got a garden, you can make a garden. If not, you could buy it. Yeah, it just come down here. We got beautiful pesto. It's Lots of different sauces here. Oh, my goodness. So, And you know what? Sometimes, you know, you got an expected company or you don't know what to cook. Instead of going out, you, just, you know, 10 minutes, you make a meal. And your family will be uh, happy and your wallet be happy and you eating good. <laughs> So it's a win-win situation all around. So, get some mozzarella. So so far, minutes to make this salad. Not, really. not at all. As long as you got all the ingredients, I like to put a little black pepper in it. But you, like I said, you can put whatever you want. So now I'm gonna just add a little more pesto, and you could put as much or so little as you want. I like a lot of pesto. So that's about a size this big. That yes, it is. There, it's right? eight ounce. Okay. And that's the size of your portions. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And that's that about it. Good. I mean, you could put a, a million things in there, but just sometimes less is better. So it looks good. I like to put a little bit of pesto on the bottom just to. And you could serve that as a main dish. You could Definitely. serve that. Um, in, in if you want to warm it up, you can warm it up. You know, not hot, but warm. Because all the ingredients taste good warm. If you have a barbecue. Oh, that smells so delicious. Or, yeah, or you have a, you know, on a Sunday. You, you just and this will sit outside, like if you're having a, a barbecue yes. outside. So, you know, right. it's not like you have mayonnaise in there. No. Where you have to worry but about But, you that. know, if you have any barbecue or anything like that, you just... Put this, get some ice cube, put it in a plastic bag, and then put this right on top. So when the ice melts, you won't have to go over this. You know, and it keeps it better, nice and cold. But if not, just keep it in a you know in a cool place, and don't let the sun hit directly right, on right. it. Now put a little bit more pesto on it. Now, if you really wanna not put a little bit of parsley on it. Uh, oil on the top, rather. Now, if you want to decorate it, uh, I, I know it's, people say you're nuts, but I, I love to do this with uh, any orange. This is a tangerine, and you just put it all around. It just gives it a beautiful, even if it goes, if you keep this at the end with the pasta, really delicious. It gives it a nice, unique look. It tastes good. Make it spiffy looking there. There you go. And then you could put more basil on the top. Now you, we did that show with the truffles. Would, would, would that work on that as well? Oh, that, oh gosh, would well, it work beautiful. <laughs> and that's about it. So That was easy. If you want, you know, you could decorate it without the stuff if you want to, but, uh, you, you know, you could... You could really go. What is that, a rolling artichoke? Or yeah, that's an artichoke. You could. You could go like this. Put a little sun-dried tomato on it. And Beautiful. you can really impress your your friend. So here it is, a, a quick, well, you know, bow ties, farfalle with pesto, grilled chicken, mozzarella, some olives. So it looks great. We're going to enjoy it. Hopefully uh, you'll try and enjoy it as well. Okay, and welcome back. So Dom, we're on our second salad here. What do you got? Little baby ravioli. These are raviolette. They call it, they stay almost in the same filling as tortellini or tortelloni. And the, those are now, they're beautiful. It gives you for soup. But they're uh -huh. great for, for salad. So I chose with this raviolette, we're going to do a, a sun-dried pesto. And then we're going to make some asparagus in there. It's a beautiful combination. So these are the but one pound. It feeds a lot of people. I got some bunch of asparagus. I'm just going to blanch it for two seconds. About a couple, about a minute. Just one of the, you know, just get a little 
be a little, get the little crunch out of it. They boil there a little, a few minutes. Over here I got, if you make extra, you keep it. This, I always put, and it's not a secret anymore, but these are sun-dried peppers. It just gives oh, it a beautiful flavor. Yeah, they with are. With the sun-dried peppers, with the sun-dried tomato. That sun-dried peppers, I was going to ask you about them. They are unbelievable. Then I'm going to put two cloves of garlic. I don't want to put too much. A little pepper. Just two, a little salt. You don't want to put too much. I put some olive oil. Could put some fresh basil in there, but I want to just taste the the sun-dried tomatoes and the peppers. Okay, let's see. This on low. There it is. And with this thing here. There we go. I just want to pulse it and multiply everything together. a few minutes to, to well, get the sun dry. You want a little chunky? Yeah, you want a little chunky, so. Yeah, just a little. Hey, it's, it's fine. I'll, you're right, I like a little chunky, it's fine. So this, we're going to put it right in here. Get rid of this thing. Yes. Don't I it smell good? Oh my gosh, that smells so good. This, the sun dried it tastes really, really. And the pepper, the sun dried peppers are unbelievable. Like you see the big chunks of that. Let me get the, uh, the asparagus. I'm going to put this right in there. So this is really like the other one, really simple. But because the, they soak the tomatoes and the sun-dried tomatoes and uh, the sun-dried pepper, it got such a a really strong taste. As you can see, the, the asparagus, I I cut some small ones and some big ones to just uh, so you get different taste. And if you want to, you could add some uh, cheese in there. Oh, that would be good. We'll decorate it with some regatta salada. Put a little black pepper here, a little more, save some for the top. Taste it for salt, I think it should be fine. Mm, just perfect. <laughs> and then, you know, salt is a, its taste anyway, so. Boy, that was easy. That was a nice, easy one. And too. it gives it's yeah. so because it's such a beautiful contrast. Put some of this more on top, and we're going to decorate this with some uh, regatta so salad. So this one here is all vegetarian. That's it's all vegetarian. Beautiful. So people could don't have to worry about. It. And if you don't want to, you know, like I said, I'm going to put decorate it with some regatta salada. But this is, you know, you get a nice dish or whatever. It would just it just fits perfect for any occasion. Got the nice pieces of the sun-dried peppers, and it gives it a unique um, flavor. People will wonder what it is, so it's your sun-dried tomatoes and sun-dried pasta. So thank you, and uh, here it is. Well, Don, this takes us almost to the end of the show. You've got one more, one more salad to make. Yes, and this is the, the we got it in, in the pot there. There's a, a raviolis with saucy and broccoli up. And the dough, we made a little like a pinkish dough. And uh, it's a little, the sausage a little on the spicy side, but not too bad. 
this is I like to make it like a little warm. You know, can you say you can eat it cold or warm? But I love this; it's delicious. I got one small onion, which I'm gonna just. Does it matter if it's a red onion or white onion? No, Doesn't any matter. color. I just like it for the color and yeah. the. I don't want in the, the look, the texture. So you can make it any way you want it. If you don't have it, it's fine. I just. But I like the. Could you use shallots as well? Why not? You can use any any uh, onion in the family, so you're good. So I'm gonna chop this up. I'm gonna chop the, the pancetta. You don't want to use pancetta, you don't have to. But it's just so you because you're gonna need the raviolis with sausage anyway, so it's because it's all in the family, so to speak. <laughs> this is nice imported pancetta. Oh, I love pancetta. It's so different from bacon. Yes, it is. It's you know, so different, yes. When people say it's Italian bacon, no, it gives you the wrong impression. So I like giving it a no. chunk. Over here, I got about a three quarters of a cup of Brussels sprouts. I clean them up. I just cut them in quarters. There we go. Cut them. We're just going to... Braise them a little with uh, some olive oil, a little some uh, onions. You can stir those uh, ravioli there. So a couple more minutes. So what is that like a tomato? Yeah, that's a tomato. The color we put tomatoes. Huh. So we're gonna put all these ingredients in here. Put this in here. Uh, thank you. Just gonna brown these a little bit. I can never get that to flip back. Uh, <laughs> just practice, that's all it is. I just want them to, to brown a little bit, just put a little more oil. And if you want to put some uh, crushed red pepper, you could do that too. Uh, now I'm gonna put these in here, the Brussels sprouts. Such a healthy dish. Now, the thing that, that makes this dish so unique is a little bit of vinegar. Ah. Don't see that that often. What is the vinegar? It gives like a little acidity. And it's the Brussels sprouts. Yes, and ah. the pancetta and the... To make a little bit of a water from the pasta. So this way the, you want to cook the Brussels sprouts just a little bit. That's why I made them small. Right. See the project is just perfect. Saw the onion. I want I want to put too much salt or pepper. Just a little pepper. The pancetta, yeah, the pancetta, maybe just a little bit of salt. It's always that. Because some pancetta are salty than others, so you just gotta go with it. Check the ravioli. Another minute and they're done. That's the beauty of fresh pasta. Oh my gosh, it cooks so nice. As you can see these the, you know, you don't want them too salty, just perfect, because they're going to wither with a little more water. But that's the beauty of the, the pasta water, when you water, it just gives it a nice sauce. And like I said, this you can eat it warm. You can make it the night before, just warm it up. And no beauty. You can see the Brussels sprouts? Yeah, so it. much flavor there. And if you, you don't want to overcook it, especially if you do the night before a couple hours because it tends to continue to cook. Just by the time you eat them, they're just perfect. Then if you go along, so you don't want to cook, you don't want to burn them, you just you want to moist. Yeah, you can see them starting to really... Yeah. I'm going to lower the stairs. I'm going to take those raviolis out. You have to be careful, they're hot. You 
It's got such a unique flavor combination, it just clicks them all together, it just brings the whole everything together in a nice shelter. And this way with the oil, when you put the oil on it, you don't have to worry about sticking, so you can eat it cold or warm. And especially and make sure that you, I know everybody always use great olive oil. Otherwise, other oil, corn oil, this and that, but when you cook it, oh yeah, that makes a big difference. Beautiful, these are done. You see the Brussels sprouts, you can see, they wilt the nice. Beautiful. They're like sort of al dente. So this, we can put this baby to sleep. Ah. And you, you know, you really don't have to do Nothing to it. If you want to, you could uh, put uh, uh, spinach on the bottom. Around it, yeah. Yeah, or on the bottom. If you give me another oval dish, I'll show you. There you go. Oh, that, that's beautiful already. And then that'll wilt. That will wilt, and you could have that with it because oh. it's in the same. The broccoli and the sausage, the same thing. So you just you just put them right over. Oh, that looks just lovely. Awesome. Now you could give me, if you want to, Lil, you could give. We put some cheese on this if you want to, but yeah, it's okay. We'll get some uh, provolone on it. We'll, we'll show it at the end. But there it is. So you see. Just put a little spinach, it just gives it a little different look. And like Lillian says, it will wilt up, and uh, that's it. The Brussels sprouts, everything. Give it one more little shot all around. Makes it nice and glow. And this, you could you could drink it, eat it warm, it's, it'd be perfect. So, piece of sausage or broccoli rab, and pancetta and Brussels sprouts. There you go. I'm ready to lick this spoon. I'm going to chop this really fine. This is nice imported provolone. It just gives us a little kickaroo here. There we go. See, how, like you said, the, the spinach is going to get well done. Yeah, it looks beautiful like that. There you go. Nice. And Good. here we are. Don, that brings us to another close of Eat My Pasta. Oh, it's... Uh, you did great. Look at that. It was... Uh, I know it looks easy, and it, it is easy. But you just got to put a little effort to it. And use great ingredients. And you could have a, a party, a dinner, for your family, whatever. We'll just give you some idea. We thank you for joining us. Yep. Thank you for watching, and uh, good night. God bless you. Oh,